Hello, my beautiful friends. So today I'm coming to you with a very strange lot. I received this lot from shopgoodwill.com. It came to me from Salinas, California, which is, I believe, Central California, Santa Cruz area. Correct me if I'm wrong. I opened up already because after my scare with uh, live bugs, usually if lot does not come from ThreadUp, I, uh, or I personally pick it up uh, from my local Goodwill, I will open up outside just to make sure everything is uh, okay and clean for now. Um, so, and I saw a lot of strange uh, items in it and I was like, oh, I need to ask my friends. I honestly need to ask my friends. This lot is very strange might be a vintage but it is very artisan you know and i do believe that in santa cruz we have a lot of free-spirited artists live so let's dive in and take a look first and foremost i already took out these items and um these are very interesting items so first is a cuff bracelet that came from um well made in thailand it says made in thailand it is not silver but it is beautiful nonetheless it is a cuff bracelet and i think i already have uh, a buyer for this one next item is a locket brass brass tone locket with a beautiful design it's a very big heart on a simple um, chain without without an a closure so you can put your picture right here maybe behind this but if you open it it opens right here it is very clean inside uh, again i am very weary opening lockets and anything else that's coming from uh, shop goodwill or just being an antique because you never know what kind of a thing you can find inside um, it is very beautifully done and I do believe I have a buyer for this one also um, a next item that um, also has been claimed is this um, necklace it is very beautifully done necklace these all are glass it is kind of a copper bronzy color on a simple two-stranded chain and and this item has been uh, done by F H Dublin I honestly do not know who this artist is um, I will research but this necklace um, this pendant on a chain has been purchased all right on to the next items. Let me pull this one first. First I see this necklace um, that is very um, kind of a um, Bollywood, I think, Indian style, red seed beads that come, um, I do believe this is a choker that come to this um, kind of a focal point that has clear rhinestones green and red enamel and red, uh, green enamel in the back um, also just to let you guys know i will not be um, calling out any prices because i honestly do not know um, how to price this strangeness that i see once we figure out um, you can always email me at yourvintagebeauties at gmail.com and we can always figure it out but majority of these items i will probably need to research at least what um, they are okay um next item that i see is a necklace and it very artisan uh piece um this kind of reminds me of hats i'm not sure if those were men's meant as uh, hats but this is what they look like to me this is a um Hmm. yeah brassy and um kind of a copper color necklace there is no maker mark um, because i do believe this is just handmade artisan item i am not sure what 
this is to me it looks like a resin that made to look like tortoise shell um, please let me know we have the same type of resin in all um, of these hats <laughs> so so this is how it looks like all right next item is All right, so let's take a look at this. This is a necklace. Again, also looks to me like um, someone made it. It is a handmade necklace, kind of like brass color chain, lobster claw closure. There is a pretty big expander because necklace seems to be short. Um, it is a very pretty uh, beef style necklace, um, very beautifully done. All these are glass and you know what, let's test this one on the bottom. All right, so let's take a look. Wow, um, so this one, this little teardrop is registering as citrine. Yeah, this one, the only one, I think. The rest are just glass. Yes, the rest are, let's see this one. Oh, this one is um, also registering as um this one goes to nephrite line yeah so um this one's addressing drop uh, as um shows citrine and um these two are also natural stones so very beautiful necklace gorgeous and what about this one let's see glass this one just glass beautiful necklace all right uh, moving on this again looks to me like very artisan piece because um, this is a necklace which um, this items remind me of some kind of like a knuckle bone but they made them um, i think plastic that colored to look like metal and we do not see any markings and it is a lobster claw closure all right look um, okay so this is also a necklace looks like um a very short uh, i would say kind of a choker necklace made to look amazing i've never seen anything like that uh, done with a lot of quality copper color kind of a tarnished copper color fold over clasp that does not have any markings or um any um, stems very beautiful I think it's gonna lay at the base of your neck um, beautifully okay oh my goodness so I have here seems like two necklaces not even sure these are necklaces because they do not have closure uh, yes, so this one um, has um, just a bunch of beads, um, glass beads. Let me double check. They are glass. Yes, they are glass. They look like glass, are, are artisan glass. So looks like someone was practicing uh, doing their glass, um, art glass beads. And they're just here on uh, a string. They're absolutely wonderfully done they're beautiful in color so if i have any uh, crafty person um, these are probably going to go to someone who can repurpose them and another one also seems to be like um, a string with glass beads right here tied up together right here they remind me a little bit of uh, pears they're all different color they're beautiful they're pretty heavy and at the bottom we have kind of 
these triangles in half moons or whatever you call it. They're all glass, pretty heavy. Ooh, all right. Um, next, I hear this is an interesting bracelet that makes a lot of kind of noise. This is probably something that a belly dancer would wear. Let's take a look. This is a bronzy color with a lot of, um, let's see, the closure, regular spring closure. I can see there are a lot of charms it looks to me a bit of um, middle eastern i think we have coral and shell then we have kind of abundance charm here i think this one's represent abundance we have um, this vessel the fish A crab kind of a probably um, a scroll or something and oh my god what is this looks like a, a finger or a, I don't know what this is let me guys know so yeah and when you move it makes a lot of clinging noise so we have this bracelet next I have this necklace also i would assume made by an artist um it is metal hook closure maybe it is vintage i'm not sure um these beads are to a lot of interest to me has a lot of interest to me i am not sure what they're made of take a look Maybe you guys can help me. It might be just a resin or I don't know. I don't know what they made of, but looks to me like a um, handmade piece also. Um, at first I thought that might be this could open, but um, they do not open. Beautiful piece. Okay, moving on, we have, what is this? I have, it seems to be two brooches. Let me close this one before someone gets, oh, for some reason I can't put it in there. All right, I'll fix it later. Two brooches, one's missing um, center cabochon, but I, I think I have exactly the same one like an um, imitation of cat's eye i think this is a sweater or maybe not even sweater maybe you can put it on the collar just a decoration for your clothing i think it's beautiful and looks vintage to me so i would very much like to fix this one okay next next i have a gold tone with a lot of um wear and a lot of patina ring um, it doesn't seem to have any markings so okay this is a faux pearl they are colored um, silvery peach color for pearls but what's really interesting to me is this closure at first i didn't know how to open it but it is magnetic and i think it's a very focal point i would wear it this in front let me see what are these um, they don't even register as glass but they're um, beautiful nonetheless okay Next, I have this necklace, seem to be like, um, it's a glass bead necklace with hook closure. And the glass seems to be very frosted, or what they call it, lamp glass, I think. Yes, these are all glass. Some of the glass beads are 
carved. Beautiful. This is my favorite color. Beautiful necklace. Absolutely gorgeous. Next, I have some sort of clip. Okay, let me see what this is. This is a glass um, crystal. Red. Um, let's see. There seems to be some kind of a saying right here. What does it say? King's, King's Key Finder, Los Angeles. Regular US patent, I think. Huh. I think this is a clip that um, can hold your keys over here. Interesting. I've never seen anything like that. Next, I have seems to be a broken uh, brooch that also can be a um, uh, pendant. Um, there are quite a few items um, uh, for pearls are missing, so I'm going to be putting this one in the craft. I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, if you guys know, please let me know. This seems to be looking like, um, I don't even know what I'm looking at, to be honest. Um, it's brassy color. So um, yeah, let me know what this is. Next, we also have a very beautiful artisan piece. It is a necklace. Um, Oh, it's a little bit stuck. Hold on. Let me fix it. There we go. Very beautiful. Very um, dainty. And uh, this pendant looks like the flowers are in a uh, vase. They're coming out of the vase. This teardrop crystal is just a glass, but it's very muted, pastel, green color very beautiful and it is on the chain let's see if we have any maker oh we do let's see who makes this beautiful thing it says and coplic designs also don't know who that is but it is absolutely beautiful look at this gorgeous necklace okay moving on i have Seems like a choker necklace, silver tone on a hook clasp, and it has an extender. Let's see who makes this. It's a, by Zap. I think it is Zap or Zad. Z A D. Um, sounds familiar, but I'm not really sure. Pretty short a choker necklace, but it does have a quite long extender. Here it is. What's next? Let's take a look. Um, a gold tone ring. I am not sure it has any markings, but it has seen better days. Um, what these ones are. Let's take a look. Glass. And I have a couple crystals, I think. Let's see. also glass so it seems like a simple fashion ring with glass uh, cabochons and crystals now i have um hmm, interesting i let me take a look oh yes um i do believe this is a real shell cameo the reason why i know is because i just took a look um um, at light and you can absolutely see through this cameo this tells me that it is a real shell cameo and I think this is uh, maybe a pendant really tiny pendant cute very cute oh my um, another artisan piece we have here <laughs> so this is a necklace with the um, barrel clasp or screw clasp, whatever you call it. Uh, seems like this necklace is made of some sort of metal. It's not too heavy. Um, there are 
silver beads that are carved and it all comes to some sort of madness <laughs> i'm not sure how how quiet take it. it it's it's all messy but it it's beautiful and it's all madness i kind of like it flowers lilies a b crystals um you know it's it's quite beautiful probably handmade also i think it was one off made by um an artist interesting piece then i have three these things they say m comma in comma syria so i think these are syrian i have no idea they made in syria probably from syria probably like i said uh, for a belly dancer okay so we put them aside what do i have here this is a bracelet there are two spring uh, closures uh, very simple brass color with um, enamel or resin on top okay i need to put this one aside because i don't want to get hurt this is i would assume a uh, hair um, not hair a hat pin um, the tip is hooked and i'm not sure if it's on purpose or um, it's just got damaged but let's see what uh, these are these are glass uh, beads and i'm gonna put in i, I want to put it aside so because i don't want to get hurt okay next i have um brass color chain with this uh rice kind of um with the rice uh pearls and they made to look like really tiny lily of the valley closed ones i think they're very cute and even though there is no maker um, i think this is a very um, beautiful necklace okay um, another rice um, pearl necklace with a flower at the focal point also does not have any uh, maker but uh, very beautiful Oh, look, and we have, um, and I have a single earring for this, so hopefully we'll find, we'll find a mate, and I will be able to um, sell it as a set. Then I found a single cufflink um, that this is not even glass, and I am not sure, even if I find a mate, I will still put it in a uh, craft lot. Alright, what we oh my look what do we have this reminds me of a shrunken head not quite sure how to take that that's pretty big um pendant uh, this necklace is uh, made of chunk really big chunky um beads and the closure is kind of a, a button closure let me see Oh my goodness, this uh, blue beads register on my Presidium as a uh, tourmaline line. And what about these red ones? They register as glass. Huh, interesting. So this is very interesting item. Uh, if any of you know what it is, please feel free to let me know. Uh, we have this kind of a mask face, tourmaline and blue tourmaline and red glass beads very interesting all right um moving moving on all right let me okay let me take this one very interesting very heavy um i would assume uh, necklace um okay so we have this blue um feels to me like natural maybe glass beads let me take a look oh no these are not glass these beads come to jedi spinel line 
Oh my goodness. Um, let me double check. Oh yes, they go to Jedi Spinel line. Very interesting. And there is this thing at the bottom. Uh, look at this. This is very um, peculiar. Look, on one side it seems to be like very smooth uh, at the edge and on this side it seems like it could be open. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to try to open it right now because I have no idea what's inside, but I will going to try to open and I'll let you know if I was able to open this one. This pendant or whatever you call it, uh, box does not seem to be um, like a silver, but all these beads are come to Jedi, Jedi Spinel line. Um, very strange please let me know if you know what this might be all right next i have seems to me like i got um a study kit for a belly dancer um because we have this we had the bracelet and now we have these jingly things um let me see um looks like there are two necklaces or whatever they you call it oh this is just a necklace that makes a lot of jingly noise when you move. So it's a bib necklace that come to a hook closure. And I do think this is for a belly dancer. Then I have this. I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, I have two necklaces. Oh! Oh my goodness, I had I look, I found a second earring. Here, we have a, a match for my set right here. So I have this thing. I have no idea what this is. It seems to be like a very long without closure necklace. Next one I have almost the same, but like this, and I do believe this is for a set for a belly dancer. So if you guys think otherwise, let me know. If you agree, also let me know okay what what's this we have a ring uh, let me take a look what these are uh this register as cz's to me they're on the uh, they're on a glass um line but on the very high end of it so i think they are CZ. let's call them glass let's call them glass um appear to have some marking 14k um this doesn't look to me like 14k interesting i'm um, doing all this guys make my fingers dirty and my skin very dry so please forgive me um i do not believe uh, let, let, let's test so we're going to be testing um you know what i'm going to be testing for um 10k first and if there is if it is 10k then we will move on to 14k okay so here is a line this is my 10k solution let's take a look um guys look at this uh it seems to me like it eats through um 10k so um i don't think it's worth uh testing yeah it's completely gone so um i think this um is um a faker yeah i do believe this one is a faker i just don't understand why would someone do that but um this is unfortunate it would be very heavy for 10k gold um a ring uh moving on uh we don't have much left so i have this necklace that seems to me is broken yeah see there are pieces all over so i'll just leave it as such um let me take a look it seems to be I think they're just red glass seed beads. I am not sure if they're coral or not, but I don't think so. 
I think they're just red glass seed beads. They have a very cute uh, pendant. And maybe someone can repurpose this one. Let's see. This is uh, glass. And I don't have any other markings. So I just leave it here. I don't want seed beads to be uh, all over my place. Okay. And last but not least, I have this three things. Oh my goodness, take a look at this. What is this? It seems to me like a tiny um, a lighter or something. It opens and it moves. Do you think it works? And it has some design on it. Wow, look at this. Look how cute this one is. Oh, I like it. I like miniature things. And now I have, uh, last things I have are these two boxes. So this one says California, the Golden State. Um, okay, I'm kind of scared to open if I even can. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Okay, thank God they appear to be empty, but do you know what these are for? What is this for? Okay. This one seems to have something inside. It's a keychain. Um, okay. Okay, let's see what's inside. Inside there is a plate and it says Carga or Charga, Charga or Carga Plate Associates, Los Angeles. There is a name. Please sign here in ink. Okay. And what it says on the back oh my goodness i think it's her address um do you guys know what this is and what is this for i have no idea so i'm just gonna leave it like this and there is a hole for something huh interesting well let me guys know oh, well this lot was very um unique um this necklace is Kind of freaking me out. What do you think this is? This uh, tourmaline or what is it? Um, where does it go? Let me double check again. It actually goes to tanzanite. Tourmaline tanzanite kind of line. Yeah. What is this? very interesting i actually also kind of uh surprised by this i thought this was uh glass um interesting interesting and bizarre lot what do you guys think let me know i would be absolutely curious to know your opinion thank you for being with me and i'll see you next time